Today, May 12th, is International Pharmalia Awareness Day. My name is Andreas Persson and I'm a physiotherapist and a specialist in pain and pain rehabilitation. In this video I will talk about fibromyalgia and that people with the disease do not get the help they deserve. Everything I say you can find in text with references to the scientific article it is based on. The link is in the description. Fibromyalgia is a disease that is mainly characterized by pain in large parts of the body. Those affected also often suffer from a sleep disorder, fatigue, concentration and memory difficulties, and numbness in the body. About 200 million people in the world have fibromyalgia. Unfortunately, less than a third of those who have the disease have been diagnosed and thus received an explanation for the symptoms. This means that there are over 100 million people in the world that have fibromyalgia but do not know about it. These are people who have pain in large parts of the body, who are plagued by difficulty sleeping and fatigue. They are often told by their doctor that they do not know the cause of the pain, but that it is not dangerous, or that the pain is due to stress and that there is nothing else wrong with them. People with formalia deserves better. To give a person with formalia the diagnosis and thereby also giving an explanation for the pain and other symptoms makes the affected feel better, become less anxious and thus do not have to seek care as often. In an important article written by several of the most recognized researchers and experts on chronic pain, it was considered that diagnosing and providing the explanation to those with formalia was one of their highest priorities. But what is the reason why so few of those with formalia have got a diagnosis and explanation of their symptoms? This is probably due to the lack of knowledge about the disease which means that myths and prejudice exist both in society as a whole and among healthcare professionals. Many people who work in healthcare still believe that the research has not found a cause for formalia or that the disease is due to, for example, the affected having lost meaning in life and are gaining meaning by taking on the role of suffering from pain or that the pain is due to the affected receiving secondary benefits such as sick leave or increased attention from relatives by, by expressing that they are in pain. People with formalia deserves better. There is today extensive research that explains large parts of the mechanisms causing formalia. Many studies have shown that the pain regulation system in those affected has changed with impaired function in the pain suppressing downward ner nerve paths and changed level of several different neurotransmitters involved in pain regulation. People with formalia also have altered levels of inflammatory cytokines in the central nervous system, making the pain system more sensitive. It is now proven that people with formalia have lowered pain thresholds. That is that they get pain more easily. You can measure the pain threshold in different ways. For example by pressing on the body and at the same time measuring how hard you press. Those with formalia get pain at a lower pressure than those not affected. Through a technology called functional magnetic resonance imaging, you can see what is happening in the brain in the meantime. Studies have shown that those with fibromyalgia similarly activate the brain at a lower pressure as healthy, normally painless people. People's brain are activated when they get pain at a harder pressure. These results should remove all doubts that those with formalia are really in pain and that formalia is a real disease. 
prejudices and ignorance about fibromyalgia increase the suffering of those affected. They are treated badly in healthcare and are not believed by admin administrators at the social insurance office. At the same time, many of those with fibromyalgia do not receive the treatment and help from healthcare for which there is evidence. Although there is no cure yet, there are many treatments that can reduce the symptoms and the suffering of those affected. Various pain management programs can make it easier for people with fibromyalgia to feel better and to live a more meaningful life. Most people with fibromyalgia are not offered these treatments because they do not receive a diagnosis and explanation and because of the ignorance and prejudice that exist in healthcare. People with fibromyalgia deserve better. Although several treatment methods have good evidence for fibromyalgia, other treatment methods are often used that have less evidence or no evidence at all, based on healthcare professionals' interest or on what was thought of the pain in Farmalia 20 to 30 years ago, such as that it's caused by tense muscles and that the joints in the back do not work as they should. People with Farmalia deserve better. In a study published 2011, the cost of long-term pain in Sweden was estimated to cor correspond to 10% of Sweden's gross domestic product. I think it looks like this in large parts of the world. Shouldn't we then have higher demands on healthcare when it comes to setting a diagnosis and giving an explanation to those with familia? Something we know both improves the well-being of the affected and reduces the cost to the society. Should we not expect more investment in high-quality healthcare aimed at people with familia and long-term pain to help those affected and reduce the cost of the suffering? Shouldn't we place higher demands on healthcare professionals and their skills in familia and long-term pain so that, the, that those affected are treated in a dignified and professional manner. People with familia deserve better. Healthcare should have a person-centered approach. Person-centered care means that the patient's story and knowledge must be taken seriously and taken into account in the examination and treatment. This is in stark contrast to what many people with familia experience in healthcare. They are often not believed. They are told that the pain is only in the head, that the doctor does not know why it hurts and that you should just learn to live with it without getting any help to learn to live with it. They are also told not to google it, to try to find information on their own. People with familia deserve better. As an affected of familia you should google and also in other ways try to find out as much as you can about the disease. The information that you are unsure of you should discuss with your doctor, your nurse or your physiotherapist and expect them to know what you are asking about. It is not acceptable for people with familia to be treated badly in healthcare. If you feel badly treated you should tell the care staff you seek help from. If this does not help, discuss it with the manager. And if that does not help, you should report it to the patient board. As a patient, you should not accept being treated in a derogatory and unprof unprofessional manner. People with familia deserve better. It is no longer enough for healthcare to treat people with familia as they do. To better help those with familia and long-term pain, there should be at least one person at each health center with increased competence in the area. Just as there is a diabetes nurse at many health centers today, there should be someone on the staff with a specific task to work with familia and long-term pain. 
a person who must be updated and continuously update their colleagues on the state of knowledge in the field, instead of just short-term and temporary contact with pain clinics. People with familia should have regular contact with a specialist at the clinic, with annual follow-ups and with the possibility of closer contact if they need help with documentation, sick leave and appropriate treatments. It is no longer acceptable for those with familia and long-term pain to be a low priority and not get the help they need. People with familia deserve better. If you like this video, then share it on your social media.